Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay. Y'all, history not only is a, a set of lies agreed upon, but it is um, the best way to, you know, I mean, in other words, those of us who don't remember the past, you know, are going to be condemned to repeat it. Ain't that what they say? How in the world, why in the world is what I should be asking, do we still in 2020? Four, and what all that black people have been through, we still got people like Robin Yerdy and uh, what's his name, Terrence Bradley, and what they have done, not just to I'm not funny, you know that that's secondary, okay. Because her decision was just dumb. But to think that these Uncle Remus's individuals would allow the very thought or the very resemblance of Donald Trump, who is a grapist, who is a um been convicted of graping to with E. Jean Carroll? Uh who has orchestrated an insurrection and he wants to be the dictator of America and these oh gee I know I can't say what I want to say because YouTube is really, really cracking down. And so they said I, um, I, I was hate speech or whatever. And I, I don't want to do that. But what I want to do is let your, those of us under the sound of my voice listen to how we still have in this day those of us who are willing to go to the other side who are willing to allow the 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 other party I hate to just say the democrat democrat republican but to allow Donald Trump and MAGA they said Georgia had the strongest case Against Donald Trump, because we hear him on the tape going, uh, "All I need is eleven thousand votes." We hear him, but this Robin Yertle, Yerty, whatever her name was, and this Bradley dude, wherever they go, they should be ostracized. Wherever they go, the people should say, "Don't come around here. Don't come around here." Because what you did was help kill democracy. And I don't care if they black or if they white. I don't care about none of that simple-minded stuff. I cannot believe that we are still being used as tools against each other. Now, Bradley mad because he was a, a, a allegedly going after and harassing all of the interns in the law firm. So he got called on, and they was like, hey, you know, you can't do that. We're going to get sued or whatever. So he resigned, or they 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 uh, didn't want to work with him no more. He had to leave the firm. So that was his way of revenge. Then you got Miss Yerdy. Who was given the option of being fired or resigning? And look what she did. 
She resigned, but she went to the defensive, Donald Trump's defense team, and told them that she had some news that they could use. Now, I'm very, I don't want y'all to get the impression that I'm, you know, proud of what Fonnie did. Okay? But that's all secondary. In fact, it's not like she was going with somebody in the prosecution. It is, I mean, it's not really a conflict of interest. And I'm not making no excuses up for her because I'm very disappointed in her because I wouldn't have done nothing until I finished prosecuting this bum. Because I know how racist white uh, minds work. And they looking for something to put you under about. So I don't want nobody to think that I'm happy and I'm making excuses for her. Because I've done videos talking about what I think about that. You don't never supposed to let your butt get hotter than your hands and what you're thinking. Well, I can't believe in the year 2024 we got people like Robin Yerdy. And Stephen, was his, his name Stephen Bradley? Oh, my God. She had to resign, so she was willing to tell Trump's people when the affair started. He got knocked down, I'm talking about Bradley, because he was sexually, allegedly harassing people inside of the law firm and he didn't want to take responsibility. And since he had to be let go, he went to Donald Trump's people and told him that. Now, all that is what I got a problem with. Because if it wasn't for these two, this, we wouldn't even be sitting here. Because we shouldn't be sitting here. Off some petty <sighs> sex, scandalous, salacious stuff. So they spread them all out, spread it they a uh, sex life, and then put it behind. Oh, it was a money thing, and of course, Fonnie and Nathan Way wasn't prepared for what was gonna happen, and because if they was, they wouldn't have did the shit in the first place. And instead of Fonnie just getting rid of it in the beginning, telling me, "Hey, look, I get, I get rid of this guy. Um, let's just do." Y'all went further and further, and further, and that's why we here. But I don't want y'all to lose sight of Robin Yerdy and Stephen Bradley, who are the modern day who told on Marcus Garvey, who told on Dr. King, who told on Malcolm X, who told on Fred Hampton. Who took all through history and our leadership we found people amongst us who will go to the enemy like Judas for a mess of pottage and put us in this position we in right now. I don't know what's gonna happen. He said he go he gonna wait two weeks, that's what the judge said. But I contend that it's over. And I just hope instead of dropping the case altogether, they find another a ter district, a ter uh, uh, another county, d you know, to take the case on. But I, I I'm so disappointed, so disappointed. I it don't keep me up at night. But it makes me think, no matter how far we got, now we get ready to be blowed all the way back. And it doesn't really matter. Because, like Willie Lynch said, don't worry about them. We done damaged them enough that they will be perpetually miserable. And they don't even know they're slaves. <laughs> Harriet said, I could have freed thousands more, hundreds more. 
If only I could have convinced them that they were slaves. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video.